Hello everyone and welcome to Delft. We are Miriam, Haruna, Nodoka, Marda, Frank, Iris and Salvatore and today we are taking you on a tour through the city of Delft. Delft is located in the province of South Holland and it takes only 20 minutes by train from Leiden. The city is not only known for its picturesque canals but also for the TU Delft, its historical connection with the royal family and Delft Blue Pottery. Stepping into the city where the old and new go hand in hand you can't miss the landmarks and attractions which the locals told us about. What are landmarks of Delft? What are the biggest buildings or the most beautiful sites in Delft? <laughs> I think the best part is the big market square where the, the new church is, where the royal family is buried, and also City Hall, which is just around the corner. And What's very nice is the old Delft, it's the, the canal just behind this canal. And there are all the ancient buildings uh, combined with the story of Delft. The <coughs> Prince Nol, where our uh, ancestor of the royal family has buried. Prince Nol, the Hoogheemraadschap, that's the building where they control the, the water levels in all this area. It's a very nice, very beautiful building. Also the VOC buildings, the VOC is a Dutch East, East Indian Trade Company, it's the East Indian Trade Company was the first multinational company in the world, dates in 1600 somewhat. And that's also all, everything is in the old Delft, it's a nice part. Outside Delft, there's yeah, Royal Delft, it's also a very nice landmark because that's the, that's the factory they make the original Delft blue, still they make it over there. And it dates back from 1632, I think. But it still exists. The only one that still makes the original Delft blue pottery. You see it from the Chinese. It's the other thing, but they still make it. <laughs> there are so many things to visit here in Delft. We have the new church, the old church. In the new church is our. Um, royal family buried so in the market square when they die there is a funeral here in the city yeah. you can go in if you get a card you can also visit the old church when you look around delft what you can't miss are the old and new churches these have been two of the most important historical icons of the city for a long time. The history of the old church starts back in 1050 and at the time it was made out of wood. Over the centuries it has been extended, sometimes competing with the new church. Interestingly, the 75 meter high tower is leaning because it started sinking during the construction due to its unstable foundation. Halfway up the tower it has the largest historical bell in the Netherlands which weighs almost 9,000 kilograms. Every hour, the clock vibrates a huge sound by being struck with a hammer. Inside the church, you can find some fascinating stained glass windows, which represent stories from the Bible and Dutch memories, such as the history of the liberation of the country during World War II and of Queen Wilhelmina. There are also three pipe organs, which, if you are lucky, might be played during your visit. The new church, on the other hand, started to be constructed around the 14th century. After several renovations, its iconic tower reached a height of 108 meters, which is the second highest in the Netherlands, after the Dome Tower in Utrecht. It was from this tower that two scientists conducted their famous gravity drop tests. You can get to the top of this tower, but be prepared, you'll need a lot of energy, because there's no elevator, only stairs. The view from the tower is spectacular. If there's good weather, you can see as far as Den Haag and Rotterdam. Inside, the church has an almost 200-year-old pipe organ, which consists of more than 3,000 pipes. In addition, you can find the monuments and stained glasses dedicated to the Dutch royal family, since the new church is known for the mausoleum of Willem van Oranje. Do you know a lot about the local history? It's, uh, we're in uh, seven, 700, 800 years ago, we get we were uh, a town with rights to have to 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 call this ta a town, you, uh, yeah, the rights for, for being a town, 
that's in 1246, so that's 800 years ago. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we have uh, we have got many uh, famous people here in Delft. Uh, Van Leeuwenhoek, he is he had uh, developed the uh, how do you call that a microscope? Yeah, we had Willem from Willem of Orange, that uh, was a famous man that killed here, so he is shooting through his head in the Prince of, that's a museum from here. Yeah, well, they, they, we have got uh, a very uh, uh, large fire, the whole town was uh, damaged through a fire. Yeah, that's what I know from this stuff. When it comes to the Netherlands, the royal family is what will come to mind to many people. Based on the interview, we went to the Prinsenhof Museum in Delft to see its history, especially about Willem van Oranje, who is famous for having been a relevant figure during the Dutch revolt against the Spanish that sparked the Eighty Years' War. This museum was originally the monastery of St. Agatha, and was renamed to Prinsenhof in 1572. Willem van Oranje was assassinated here on July 10, 1584, as he climbed the stairs to his office, and you can still see the bullet holes in the wall. This building isn't only interesting from an historical point of view. Another section of the museum was dedicated to the creativity of the inhabitants of Delft, dating back to the 17th century. You can find various collections of paintings, Delftwares, Delft blue, textiles, silver and much more. It also allows you to learn more about famous Delft residents such as Johannes Vermeer, Hugo de Groot and many more. During our stay, we were lucky to visit the museum's temporary exhibition Amalia, Ambitie met Allure, featuring Amalia of Solms, one of the greatest women of the 17th century. And of course, if we are talking about the Netherlands, how can a windmill miss in this video? Delft has its own lively, eye-catching and iconic windmill in the city. This is the only remaining windmill out of 18 others that used to be operating as well. It is possible to visit this attraction for free. You can see how it works, as well as historical and cultural aspects of what it used to mean to live and work in a windmill. You can try grinding organic grains like we did here. It's worth a visit, especially if you've never been inside a windmill before. I want to ask you as well about the local history of Delft and about the tradition of the Delft group. When the East Indian Trade Company was here in town, it got, it was, Delft was the third city of Holland in, in the 17th century it was. And in the beginning they imported a lot of uh, porcelain from China and they sell it all in Holland and Europe. But halfway that century, there was a civil war in China, so the, the import of the porcelain was stopped. Yeah. And so that was, was a loss for the VOC. So what I do, I think we can, maybe we can uh, make it ourselves. So they make pottery made of clay, and it looks like porcelain. And that's the, the, the origin of the Delft blue. And they still make it over there like they made it a couple of hundred years ago. When you think of Delft, the first thing coming to your mind might be Delft Blue. Delft Blue pottery has been famous ever since the 17th century. Between the 16 and 1800s, Delft was one of Europe's most prominent pottery producers. The history of Delft Blue began when the potters started reproducing the high-priced blue and white Chinese porcelain with composite clay. Delft Blue gained popularity in no time, and at its peak, there were 33 active potteries in the city. Over the course of centuries, Delft Blue went out of trend, and almost all the potteries ceased production. However, you can still find the finest Delft Blue craftsmanship in the remaining factory and in many stores. Also, the ceramic routes, which spread along the canal, take you past all kinds of ceramic highlights in the city center. The churches, the Prinzenhof Museum, the windmill and the ceramic routes. Delft has a lot to offer. A very good reason to visit this culturally rich city. We hope you enjoyed our tour of Delft.